welcome guys today in this video i just want to discuss or i just want to share about the heat sinks which are being used in this uh, microcontrollers and uh, microprocessors we all know that raspberry pi is a very famous microprocessor and also we know some microcontrollers like arduino so these controllers and microprocessors will emit some amount of heat here you can see in this this is the cpu of this microprocessor it will generate some amount of heat and you can see the plot shows that the red colored region is the hottest region or the region where the temperature is very high so that has to be removed from that surface otherwise it will create some fault in the system raspberry pi is inbuilt with the system that the system will slow down by itself if it is overheated so if you want to run your system effectively you can use some heat sinks like this so in most of the cases we use this type of heat sinks what is actually this heat sinks they are some physical elements which drives out the heat from it or we can say that it will dissipate the heat from the system to its surrounding or sur atmospheric air so let us see what are the types of heat sinks that are available so we can have different types of heat sinks they are having some different configurations here you can see these fins are parallel here you can see some uh, arrangements where uh, there is a is a pin like structure also here you can see a straight path whereas in this pattern the path is staggered so there are different types of configurations we can see in this heat sinks so each and every configuration has its own merits and demerits so we must understand the physics behind that the heat which is generated here that should be transmitted to this heat sinks heat sinks are generally made of aluminium because aluminium will have higher thermal conductivity since aluminium is having more thermal conductivity they are they are widely used as heat sinks in this microcontrollers and microprocessors the aluminium once it is getting contacted with that cpu or any electronic device it will absorb the heat from that device and it will conduct very effectively since it is having very high thermal conductivity so because of the thermal conductivity the heat from the system will be conducted to its fins so then you can see there are some extended surfaces there are many ribs like structures so what it will do it will it will increase the contact area of that surface with the air so if this sink is not there there will be only a small area that is this length in, into this breadth so this is a small area if you have a heat sink we can have a very big area you can see uh, this area plus this area plus this area we are having multiple number of plates so the area which is in contact with the air is get increased when you use this type of heat sinks so because of that the heat transfer due to convection will get increased that means the heat will be transferred to the air surrounded by that easily so that's why we are using heat sinks there are many different patterns as we have discussed earlier uh, so the performance of each and every heat fin has to be analyzed and we have to choose the proper heat sinks for our systems in that sense we can also use some additional fans so these additional fans will create a forced convection so as we discussed there will be conduction from the cpu to this metal and from this metal the heat will be convected from this metal surface to air surface metal surfaces to the surrounding air that is convection so if we use a fan over here that will increase the convective heat transfer so that the convection takes place effectively that is called forced convection if we don't use fan that will be named as free convection or natural convection i just wanted to simulate this and how it works so i have made a small geometry of this let me show you that geometry i have just created a geometry which is having a flat plate this resembles the cpu of a system uh, of a processor or a microcontroller so it will create some amount of heat so here i have made two different projections one is simply that cpu and another one is the cpu over that we had heat sinks so i have created a geometry like this and then i have imported the geometry in 
a thermal system analysis system in ansys workbench let us see how i have made that simulation so i have created some surfaces by having names so here i have created a named surface i have named that as a heat source all of the surface will transmit the heat to the atmosphere so that's why i have created all other surfaces as convective surface except that base face so that base face will create some heat and that heat will be converted to the atmosphere through all these surfaces so let us see how these two configurations eliminates the heat from the system so i have given a convection coefficient of 20 watts per meter square kelvin this is just an arbitrary value similarly i have given a temperature at the bottom of that plate i have taken around 350 kelvin this is also just for a demonstration purpose so and then i have made a run that simulation and i have measured the temperature of the uh, fins so if we if we have fins that fins will transfer the heat to the atmosphere very easily because of enhanced surface area and whereas these surface gets overheated so it can be observed that the plate which is having the fins is having very lesser temperature when compared to the plate which is not having that extended surface or fins or that heat sink so even though the temperature difference is very less that is uh, around 1 uh, degrees so uh, this is just i have made an uh, arbitrary values and this is just for a demonstration purpose if you use a very good material which is having very good conductivity thermal conductivity surely the temperature difference will be significant we can also try with different geometries and we can also try with some post convection like having a fan like that and we can do some simulations and we can choose a proper system for our microcontroller or microprocessor like if you have any clarification or if you want to any if you have any objection about this video you can also communicate to me as comment thank you